All right, well, it pains me to admit this, but yes, I screwed up. I got nobody to blame but myself on this one. And I planted the excavator. I mentioned it in the past video, but uh, you know, I thought I was gonna let it sit here and uh, try to dig and drive it out later, but now we've got uh, Sounded like a heck of a rain coming, you know, as if uh, all the flooding Houston had on Memorial Day wasn't enough. Now we've got the dirty side of a tropical storm headed our way, and, you know, estimates range as much as 15 inches of rain. So, you know, hey, why not? Um, why not have some more? So anyway, I broke down, and I'm going to have, uh, have him come fish it out today. I got the guy I bought it from is bringing his other excavator out, and we got a winch truck coming, and before the day's over we will have her back on high ground i just don't know how long it's going to take but he he promised me a price and i guess i'll give him to shake hands on it that's the best i can do um but we will uh get her on out of here you can see the the track i've got my dozer man out here working too the track on that side is down missing i can just see the top of the track over there looks like my turntable for the most part is actually up above water so that's good or above the mud um, but my mats are all over the place and um, you can see how the water's pooled up around things we had some some more rain overnight I think um, but also some of this is water that's coming up in the clay you know like I said before I'll say it again this will pack it will settle eventually but um, for right now we're we're gonna have to let it sit so we'll uh, We'll get the excavator out here. We'll dig all this mud out in front. We'll expose the front of that track over there and uh, do the same old game. We'll get her, get her dug out of here and fished out of here, and then everybody will go home. And God forbid I ever do it again, because it is, it is a hard, hard pill to swallow. Um. Anyway, the the main road, it's it's still setting up better. I had Gary in here, and he uh, he was gonna try to work some of it off but as he started running across it it started stirring it up again so we're going to let it sit right now i've got him working on the main pad over there just clearing it up and, and kind of making some space for uh, for everybody else to get in here and do what we got to do today to get this thing fished out but um we'll have to just let it sit let it pack and we'll dress it up later as as the uh, weather allows but anyway like i said for today the uh, plan is to uh get her dug out of here so let's hope we get it done
So, uh, yeah, my uh, rescue service here is making good money today at my expense, but what I get. Well, there you go. From the time he showed up to the time he's taken off loading up was about an hour. And, uh, well, he told me $1,200 max. We'll see if he feels like giving me a break or not, but I don't blame him if he takes the whole thing. He threatened to take the key and say he won't give it back to me until it's dry enough to work. I suppose I deserve that, but uh, we got it out and uh, thankfully got it out easy. I was really, you know, I was concerned we were going to have to get a winch truck involved and get more people out here and spend all day, but um, as it stands, she's out. She's on dry ground. She needs a bath to say the least, but I'm going to go through and uh, do what I can to do a lube job on it. I don't think I can get to my grease certs on the tracks, but I'm definitely going to re-grease the um, the main turntable since it was you know sitting cockeyed and way down and uh, check my oil my fluid stuff like that and uh, go ahead and do a grease job on the bucket I might as well but anyway we're out so I guess uh, a good end to a, a bad situation <laughs>